Hello, good evening everyone. We were solving the questions from BSD sample paper 2024 and we have solved 14 questions till now. Now we are at question 15. All right. So question 15 is again a sum of probability mixed with general number knowledge. All right. So there is not a lot of difficult concepts associated with this problem. So we will just break it down into simple parts. Okay. So what do we have to calculate? First we have to know what are the different five digit numbers that are available to us. So what does it say? It says S be the collection of all five digit numbers. So all five digit numbers means we start from let's say 10,000, right? So we start from 10,000 because 9999 is a four digit number. We start from 10,000 and we calculate up to 99999, all right? So these are all of the five digit numbers and how many possible values are there here? we have to calculate that. So there are five nines minus 10,000 plus one values because we also calculate the endpoints. So total number of total five digit numbers. This would be nine, 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 nine minus 10,000 plus one. So this is 90,000. Now you can see why the denominator is set to be 90,000 in all of the options, all right? So that you cannot eliminate any option just by doing this one step. Now, if this was an easier examination, then you would have seen different denominators and you could eliminate maybe two options from the first step itself. So this is the difference between an exam conducted by one of the most reputed institutes in India and any other exam, right? There you will have a much simpler time of eliminating the options that are not relatable to the sum. Okay. Here you have to go through a bit more of the problem to eliminate some options. All right. Now we move on to the next part. The number has to be divisible by eight, but not by three. So how will we do this? Let us first calculate how many numbers are there that are divisible by three, sorry, divisible by eight total five digit numbers. I'll just write them five D numbers divisible. by eight, right? So how will I calculate this? It's very easy. I'll just have to divide the two and check the number appearing in quotient, right? So 90,000 divided by eight. So this will turn out to be 11250. Now I have to also include the numbers that are not divisible by three. Right? I have to exclude them, not include them. So if I want to exclude those numbers, now in this 11250 numbers, there are some numbers that are divisible by three. Now they are already divisible by eight. So if in addition to eight, they're divisible by three, they should become divisible by 24, right? This comes from the property of GCDs because eight and three are co-prime. So if a number is divisible by eight and it's not divisible by 24, then it should be divisible by eight and not by three. Okay. Because eight and three are co-prime. All right. So this was discussed in the chapter where we learned about GCDs. All right. So we have to calculate the number of five digit numbers that are divisible by 24. Okay. And then we have to subtract those two. So once we do that, we can calculate the correct value. Let us do that. So numbers divisible by eight and three. All right. So this will be 90,000 divided by 24, which would give me a value of three, seven, five, zero. Therefore, numbers divisible by eight and not twenty four. Sorry, not three. I just have to subtract these two. This is seven thousand five hundred. 
mm, now we are done right probability that would be 7 now usually in board exams I would ask the students to simplify the fraction and make it into an answer that is at its lowest terms but here the options are given in such a way that you can clearly identify that what you have done is appearing in option a okay so i hope this logic was clear this was again a easy problem you just have to think about it and relate it to the concept of general divisibility and numbers so let us recap what did we do we first calculate the total number of five digit numbers why did we do that plus one because we are also considering the end point it starts from ten thousand and ends at 99999 but also includes that one so plus one so total 90,000 five digit numbers divisible by 8 we have 11250 the number of five digit numbers that are divisible by 8 and 3 that is 3750 now if I subtract this I'll get the numbers that are only divisible by 8 and not 3 because the multiples of 24 have been crossed out okay and why does this occur because of the properties of GCD and because 8 and 3 are co-prime all right so 11250 minus 3750 will give you 7500 and that is the option that you have in A. All right. So again, I hope you won't have any problem in this question. I have explained it a few times in this video. So if you still feel like there is any doubt here, please rewind the video and watch it slowly. You will surely understand. All right. Now that question five, no, question 15 is done. We will again meet in question 16. Okay. Bye everyone.